Three weeks until the midterm elections, and Bay Area Congressman Eric Swalwell is making headlines for a shocking new digital ad that depicts a dystopian reality if Democrats lose control of the House and the Senate. Mary Anderson? Yes? I have a warrant for your arrest. Arrest for what? Penal Code 243 violation. Unlawful termination of a pregnancy. The ad, called Lock Her Up, portrays a woman being arrested in front of her family for having an abortion. When the husband steps in to stop the arrest, police draw their guns on the couple while their children watch in tears. Why is this happening? Love you, honey bear. We're just enforcing the law here. Elections have consequences. The aim of our ad is to make sure voters know uh, and then they go into the ballot box wide-eyed that your freedoms are on the line. There is currently no state law that would send a woman to prison for having an abortion. But Swalwell says he hopes the ad will awaken Democratic voters about what he believes could happen if they don't vote. And so I wish I could say it was an exaggeration, um, but, you know, these things could escalate very quickly. Amid rising inflation and concerns over the economy, Democrats across the country are looking to abortion rights to fire up voters. Today, President Biden gave a speech where he pledged to reinstate abortion protections if Democrats expand their majority in the Senate and maintain control of the House. Here's the promise I make to you and the American people. The first bill that I will send to the Congress will be to codify Roe v. Wade. But new polling suggests other issues could be driving voters to the polls. In a New York Times Siena poll that asked voters what the most important problem facing the country is today, 26% said the economy, 19% said inflation and cost of living, just 4% answered abortion. ABC News political director Rick Klein told Kristen Z on getting answers that there's a sense anger around abortion rights may have dissipated. Um, most people aren't trying to get an abortion every day, but they are seeing the impact of high prices every day as they go about their lives.